Ooh. Oh, the strawberry is really good. Blends with the coconut nice. Kind of gives you like a strawberry ice cream flavor. Lime balances it better. I didn't put rum in this. Ahoy there, and welcome to the Long Goner Tavern for another episode of Drinks Worth Running For. I'm your host, Captain Travis, and I am sore from all the miles I've been running. If only I had some sort of painkiller. I have just the R thing. But before we get to that, This cocktail might not actually have any medicinal qualities, but after a few of them, you're sure to forget about what's hurting. It's the painkiller. This drink's story starts on the Caribbean island of Jost Van Dyke, one of the British Virgin Islands. At three square miles and a population of 298, this is a small island, but it's home to many sandy beaches and tropical bars. One of those establishments is Daphne Henderson's Soggy Dollar Bar. When founded, this hideaway bar didn't have a road or a dock that allowed tourists to get to it without a swim. So this led to many tourists exchanging soggy dollars for sweet libations. One of those libations was Daphne's signature drink, the painkiller. Let's get started. We're gonna start out with four ounces of pineapple juice. Then we're gonna do one ounce of cream of coconut. One ounce of fresh orange juice. And then two ounces of Pusser's rum. This is important for reasons we'll discuss in a little bit. Give that a shake. And pour that into a Collins glass. We're gonna grate a little bit of nutmeg on top. Garnish that with some pineapple. And that's the painkiller. <sighs> Creamy, rich. Coconut doesn't hit you as hard as I thought it would. Orange comes through. The rum has like a very molasses flavor, like brown sugar. I would like funkier rum. It's good. It's overly sweet. It doesn't feel balanced. It's there, it's good. I, I would drink lots of them. I just feel like something's missing. I don't know if my pain is quite killed yet. As you might have noticed, I called out Pusser's Rum in that last drink. And that's because the painkiller is only one of four cocktails that actually has legal protections awarded to it. In the 1980s, after years of Daphne refusing to give him the secret recipe, Pusser's owner, Charles Tobias, literally swam out of the bar with one. This was so he could take it home and reverse engineer it like he was Plankton trying to figure out the secret recipe to the Krabby Patty. And then, after he figures it out, he actually goes back to the bar and tells Daphne, I figured it out! This story is literally on the Pusser's website. After that, he actually went and got the drink copyrighted. And now, when a bar or restaurant wants to put a painkiller on the recipe, if they don't use Pusser's rum, they can get sued. Obviously, when you're at home, you can put any rum in any drink you want and call it whatever you want. But clearly, this isn't my kitchen and it's more of a fictional pirate tavern inside of the hollowed out body of a shipwreck. I feel I should make sure everybody knows this is not a painkiller. As I said, something was missing with that last drink. Strawberries might fill that hole. Put a few chopped strawberries into your shaker. Muddle them up. Put ice in there. And then half an ounce of lime juice. Four ounces of pineapple juice. Mm. 
One ounce of cream of coconut. Come on. An ounce of orange juice. And then we're gonna do two ounces of funky Jamaican rum. Give that a shake. Drain that into a uh, fun glass. And then to garnish this, let's go with a couple pineapple fronds. A strawberry and a pineapple. And then a bamboo straw, because the environment. And this is not a painkiller. Oh, much better with rum. The strawberries add a lot. Coconut's still there. It does, it tastes like strawberry ice cream, but with a tropical flair. The funkiness of the rum comes out a lot. The Jamaican rum's a great choice. Uh, the lime, the lime's there on the back end. You get a little bit of the tartness. It tastes like a strawberry smoothie, but, but better. It's, mmm. This is really good. I want more of these. I'm gonna make another one right now. I really do, I really like this drink. So there you have it, a drink that helped put a small tropical island on the map, and then one that for legal reasons is totally not that drink. So whatever you wanna call it, these are both drinks worth running for. For merch like this and more, go to rumrunnersrunning.club. Hello. Hi. Little man. He looks like a little man.